Hey everyone, I'm Cake, and today I'm making my own gin. But first, I need to get ready by putting on my gin apron. Yeah, look at this, yeah, isn't it cool? My mom bought this for me. Thanks, mommy. You're the only one that supports my crippling alcohol addiction. Look at this, yeah, let the weekend be gin. <laughs> so quirky, man. <babe. laughs> so the next thing I want to do is just sanitize, okay? You gotta, you gotta be clean, you know, we're making gin, you know. Things need to be clean, you know? <coughs> Hand sanitizer tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Box! This box over here is how I'm gonna do it. I got this about a year ago for my birthday and then I just kind of forgot about it, so sorry about that. But yeah, as you can see, it's a... Uh, Die? 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 Not sure what language that is. Gin making kit. Make your own artisanal handcrafted gin in 36 hours. <laughs> so yeah, let's open the contents of this box and uh, see what I have to do. Wow. Okay, here's the instruction manual with very easy, simple to follow steps that I definitely won't fuck up. And oh, how nice of them. They got a little cocktail menu here where I can make my own cocktails when I'm done making this mess. We got this really nice bottle over there. Got this, uh, our bottle of botanicals, bottle of juniper berries, and lastly, Cool, now I can get rid of this. Step one, buy a bottle of vodka. Fuck! I should... Damn it! What time is it? What time is liquor city closed? Closed, closed, closed. Uh... I literally don't have the ingredient for the first step. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I'll have to do this tomorrow. Skip to tomorrow. Okay, so that was a little embarrassing, but I have returned with the vodka. And I didn't just buy any vodka, okay? I bought the best. Absolute vodka. So now we can finally start with step one, which is buy a bottle of vodka, okay, which I have done. Step two, pour three tots of vodka into a separate glass, add six juniper berries to that glass, and over the next 36 hours, give it an occasional loving swirl or stir. Resist the temptation of drinking it. Listen here, you know, shit. I'll put it in this clear glass over here so it's better to see. Add a shot of vodka. Okay, six juniper berries. Just six, huh? Am I reading that right? Six juniper berries, that's it. A loving stir, as they said. Yeah, you fucking like that, don't you? <laughs> you fucking like it when I stir you like that, don't you? You little shit. I'm just gonna juffy this so no dust and shit gets in here. Step three, pour the remaining juniper berries into the vodka bottle. Okay, this is not gonna work, hold on. I present my homemade funnel. This works, I'm a genius. Fuck, the hole's too small. <laughs> there we go, I think I found the ideal hole size. Last few, and there we go. That's all the juniper berries. Okay, that's step three done. Step four, leave the juniper berries in the bottle for the next 24 hours, shake vigorously and as often as you like. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh. Okay, so the next few couple of steps are just basically babysitting this glass over here and then adding the botanicals after 12 hours. So I'm gonna set two timers, one for 36 hours for this one and one for 24 hours so I can add the botanicals. So yeah, let the babysitting begin.
Okay, so it has been 24 hours and I've been shaking this and letting it sit for the past 24 hours. As you can see, it's already taken on a little bit of color as compared to this one here. But now we move on to step. I can't read. Step five, after 24 hours have passed, open your bottle and add the botanicals to the vodka and juniper berries, which I will do. Oh, it smells terrible. <laughs> I'm curious, how does this smell? It doesn't smell like vodka, I'll tell you that much. Time to use our big brain funnel over here. Get it now. Get it now. Fuck! It's too big. How did I get it in last time? What do you mean? There we go. That's a little bit better. Alright, that looks like everything. So yeah, over the next 12 hours, I'll be shaking this thing like it's my dick. Okay, so that has officially been 36 hours and our gin is just about ready. There's just a few more steps before I can finally feed my alcohol addiction. Okay, so where are we? Step 7. 36 hours have now passed. It's time to open your vodka bottle. I'm looking forward to this. wonder how it's gonna smell. I'm smelling like all the spices and stuff and honestly, it smells like gin. That's good, that's good. Step 8. Place the funnel inside the top of the swing... I can't read. Okay, that's a yo. Fuck. <laughs> All right, let's very carefully. I'm well, trying not to fuck this up. Okay, that is the last of our little mixture that we had. And finally, I have no idea why we have to just leave this aside, but it's actually taking on a little bit of color. You can barely notice. Okay, and that is all of our gin, our homemade gin. Stay there. Okay, basically this is the most important step and that's to drink. So if you remember, uh, there was this little cocktail menu where you can make your own cocktails. But uh, honestly, I don't have any of these ingredients. So I'm just gonna, you know, have it with uh, ice and tonic water. You know, keep it simple. Let's get a nice clear glass for this demonstration. Oh no, I gotta crack this ice. Hold on. Holy shit, these ice cubes are huge. <laughs> Oh, oh, I have an idea. I can, I can do like a fucking how to drink style. Yeah, I can just be like. Okay, I just made a mess here. Okay, just fucking put a few ice cubes in there, okay? Fuck, it's sticking to my fingers. Fuck. Three ice cubes, that should be enough. Okay, and now I'm just going to pour myself a single shot. It's looking a bit less. I'll, I'll make it a double, make it a double. So I just bought some classic Indian tonic water, because you know, support Indians, you know, just a casual flex there. Okay, I'm gonna slow mo this so it looks cool, okay? Fucking hell, you. <laughs> you just missed it! I'm making such a fucking mess over here, man. Alright, now, for the moment of truth, how does it taste? Yo, yeah, honestly. It's a lot better than I expected, you know, just adding spices and, you know, just fucking juniper berries. I was very, you know, doubtful about it at first, but, uh, you know, with the taste, you know, it's really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna try, actually use my taste buds and do a little bit of a analysis of the flavor notes that I'm getting. Uh, so I'm getting, uh, you know, some spices, you know, maybe a little bit of citrus on the side there, a slight sweet bitterness of the tonic water. I don't know what I'm talking about. You know, it's got like a sort of citrusy aftertaste, which I really like. I really like that. And 
it's just really good. Like my first serve, I was just like, mm, what is this? You know, like, oh, what, uh, I'm a little disappointed. But you know, now that I'm able to really, you know, sit with it, it's growing on me. You know, it's definitely not a flavor I'm used to, but it's growing on me. That's for sure. You know, I just wanted to sit down and really savor this drink, okay? Because it's been an entire fucking month since I last drank. So I really just wanted to sit down and just save it. And hey, any uh, gin companies out there, you know, big, small, you know, even little independent breweries. Hey, hey, you did, wink, wink. You know, sponsor me, please, God. <laughs> yeah, you know, get in touch with me. You know, I'd love to try your gin. I think I'll have another. Ah! Fuck! You know what? Don't worry about the glass. I'll fucking deal with it later. Okay, I can't be asked. One more. One more. One more. Okay, after this, it's the last one. My name is Cake Extreme, but everybody calls me Cake. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>